So whether you're old or new to Destiny, we've got this thing called the Season Pass. Now we've got uh, various things on the screen here which gives us loads of information about what the Season Pass does and how long it's got to last and so on. So as you can see here, we've got 99 days and 5 hours left until Beyond Light comes, which is pretty cool. Over here you've got your level. I'm only a measly 18 at the moment, but we're going to damn well do something about that. Then you've got your central bit here which shows you all your rewards. And then you've got all the little boosts that you can get and shows you at what stage they are like as you go you get xp boosts uh you get glimmer boosts you can get quest boosts for enhancement to uh getting the catalyst more quickly you've also got masterwork boosts uh you've got scrounger boosts which allow things to drop in the world that wouldn't normally depending on your past level of course and finally something that's really important we've got the arrivals bonus which is all to do with focusing umbral engrams and what level you unlock those so we've got two tracks. We've got the free track at the top here, which shows you what you can get if you haven't bought the pass. Generously, there's lots of nice stuff there. And then the bottom track you've got, which is if you have purchased the season pass. So there's more juicy stuff on the bottom tier. Of course. Do you know why? Because we paid for it. Only a tenner, mind. Nice and cheap. Right, well, the first thing that uh, pops up, you get a complete set of armor, and you also get the Wither Horde grenade launcher, which is absolutely excellent. And I'd recommend you use it. Three, two, one. One, and go. Free pass owners, you get that at level 30, I believe. But we'll have a quick look and see as we go. So the main things of interest we've got, aside from the uh, initial bunge of bunge, bulge. No, not bulge. That's something completely different again. You know, present of all of all the armor we've got twisted energy you get 250 of that that's for upgrading the prismatic recaster by old drifty poos there uh we've also have a, a ritual glimmer boost that's okay we've all get an enhancement cause you do start to get your first sets of armor in here and it gives you a, a a level of 48 that you can see there now if you leave these the longer you leave these and the higher you get when you claim them these stats get boosted as you go but they get boosted from the bottom of the pass right to the top so it might be worth just holding on before you claim these just so uh, you know you don't waste them because you might get more out of them if you leave it a little bit longer you've got a new um, emblem there which is okay but the most interesting thing on this level for me is the finisher called revolution blade which i think is really cool Cop that. And I'm sure you all know by now how to upgrade your season pass. Of course, it's just XP, what you earn when you're running around punching idiots in the face. But you can increase that amount of XP by uh, putting on a ghost with guiding light on it. And that way, when you turn in the bounties, the XP that you gain will go up by 10%, which will make things go, well, 10% quicker, really. Okay, on page two, we've got the Catalyst Enhancement, which doubles the objective progression for the Wither Horde, which is the new grenade launcher, as you've all heard. And then we have the Twisted Energy, which we need for the Prismatic Enhancer. I've done two videos on these very things, so if you want to go and have a look at them for a bit more information, please do. That would be marvellous. We've got some extra engrams and things like that. We have these new mnemonic engrams, which uh, will give you stuff from the previous season, so they're quite cool to have. You can see them dropping at various points across the season pass. Another XP boost there. The things of interest to me here, we've got the Traveller Arrival Transmat effect. The Traveller's Entrance. Yes, we're all going to be looking up the Traveller's Entrance. And then finally on this, we've got the Legendary Shard Dismantle Boost. So it provides a bonus Legendary Shard when dismantling Legendary or Exotic gear. Always handy to get another Shard in. Okay, page three up to level 30. A few things of interest on here. There's another enhancement to the uh, catalyst again for the Wither Horde and so on. Uh, we've got two exotic, oh, sorry, one exotic engram. That's on a different page. But the most interesting thing on here is this baby. It's the Falling Guillotine, or Guillotine, depending on how you want to pronounce it, sword. And what's cool about this sword, of course, is that... Pressing R2 launches a heavy spin attack. So it's kind of like the Dark Drinker, and the other one's like the Bolt Caster. So this is... 
I haven't had this drop from Umbral Engrams at all at the moment, so I'm wondering if it drops into the loot pool when you unlock it on the season pass here. So that's level 30 to get your falling guillotine. Excellent. Can't wait to get there. I'm a bit slow. Right, moving on to the next page. We've obviously got uh, legendary shards and so on. Now this is the first bonus, which is to do with the prismatic recaster. This unlocks the improved arsenal focusing. So that's the second row of umbral engrams when you go into the embram embram <laughs> engram focusing bit when you go into that bit on the prismatic recaster that then becomes available to you uh once you've unlocked it you're at rank 32 so that is pretty important and another very exciting thing if you haven't bought the pass this is where you get your wither horde like i said it's fantastic so you're going to find that very useful so pick up that baby as we go okay moving on to page five really cool thing here we've got the strike armor scrounger so grants a chance to receive additional season pass armor drops from completing strikes so that's a good one to get for doing your armor up and of course we also have the second weapon which is proving to be somewhat mysterious and not in the general umbral engram loot pool at the moment it's the cold denial fusion rifle looks very pretty haven't heard many people talking about it yet so we'll have to get that and see how good it is and whether or not it's uh, worth our time and this is of interest we have a sparrow called the warden's whaler which really fits in with the aesthetic of uh, the uh, armor this time so that's very nice indeed yes now page six throws up a few interesting things we've got of course uh, the gambit armor scrounger so chance to receive additional season pass armor drops from completing gambit so good that's good throws gambit into the mix which is very very nice but we've got these exotic ciphers and you can see it says that you can use them to purchase stuff from Zer and the Cryptarch. So I went to see Zer, and you know the exotic engram that he's got that you can normally purchase with legendary shards? Well, you can't do that anymore. You have to use this exotic cipher to do it. And also, if you go back and see Rahul, you can see he has a selection of old exotics. And you need to use the exotic cipher in tandem with... Oh my god, where's all my glimmer gone? Yes, anyway, uh, it's to uh, buy older stuff. So that's what that's for. I don't know if people are going to be happy about the Zer thing, but there you go. Uh, and what else is on here? Oh, we've got these enhancement prisms. These are used to upgrade the last couple of levels of your items, so like level 8 and 9. They're always handy to have, and they're as rare as rocking horse poo. Okay, here we go, up to page 7, level 70. What goodies do we have here? Now, this grants a chance to receive additional season pass armor drops from completing crucible matches. So there we go. We've got the triple whammy. We've got strikes. We've got gambit. And now we've got crucible. Uh, we've got a nice little uh, exotic engram there. But here we go. The ornaments are starting to unlock. Let's have a quick look at this titan one. So, uh, the ornaments are unlocking. And I really like this. Look, what's those turtles? And then there's like you know counting things and splats or spiders or something it's like he's keeping track of the things he's killed he kills turtles it's just a disgrace we've also got a double exotic engram whammy here which is quite nice there's the xp boost again and then we have uh, the greaves your boots oh that's quite nice starting to look a little bit like a digger that's what my son would say. Or JCB. So yeah, they look quite cool. I'd like the look of that stuff. And more enhancement prisms. Let's skip to the next page. Level 80. Here we go. Oh, we've got some more things. We've got Strike Sword Scavenger. Grants a chance to receive additional season pass. Falling guillotine drops from completing strikes. So it gets added into the strike loot pool at level 71. That's nice. And then this is the second uh, level of improved armor focusing for defrosting no that's not the word decrypting your umbral engrams so that's the bottom level of engrams there that you can focus for specific rewards uh, for your armor so that's that there good creaky it's quite high up the trees at level 72 people are going to be doing that reasonably late on in the season okay we got the gambit sword scrounger so that means the guillotine will fall from gambit matches some more exotic doodars some nice raid banners there thanks very much indeed we have more small xp boosts so the boosts boosts yes and we've got the seed breaker mark let's have a look at that very nice it's like a ripped pair of trousers i love it nothing wrong with ripped trousers uh, what else do we have here some legendary shards oh and we have the ascendant golf balls which is very very handy 
What is the point of this? Oh, yes. Forging masterwork gear. There you go. Okay, so we're going to go to the last tier. No, we're not last, but one tier. Beg your pardon. So we've got here the pulse scrounger so we can have the cold denial dropping in Ganbit if you get that, which is quite nice. 16 grand, thanks very much. And then we've got the sword scrounger so we've got the guillotine dropping in crucible matches there. More raid banners, more ascendant golf balls. Uh, we have the another ornament. This time it's for the chest plate. Very nice. Nice large screws. And I love the vents. Looks like jet engines really cool and now we have an ornament this time for the falling guillotine and it's called riptide and by gum isn't it sexy Ooh, i love it omelon you know excellent stuff yeah that's great i love that look at that so i can't wait to wield one and cleft people's brains in half we have our new ghost shell the last bastion shell which is in sort of time in time in style you know, it looks like the uh, ornament. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it's a ghost shell that looks in tone with the current armor. Yes, that's what I mean. My God, my brain's hurting. Let's go to last page. This can take us a while to get here, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, we've got the pulse now dropping in the crucible at level 91. That's great, the uh, cold denial there. A thousand twisted energy, but methinks by the time you get to this level, you're probably pretty close to uh, upgrading your Grumbrel M Gram Prismatic Recaster doodah. So how important that's going to be at this point, I don't know. It might come in handy for the last stretch, which is very, very nice. Uh, what do we have here? Strike Pulse Scrounger, so the Cold Denial will drop in strikes. That's great. Another Ascendant Golf Ball there for us. Oh, we have another ornament for the Cold Denial. Dark Waters. Let's have a look. Very pretty. I don't know if it looks nicer without it. I don't know. Well, we'll find out when we get one, won't we? We've got Bright Engrams here. Okay, we've got the Helmet Ornament. Definitely a massive safety bar going across the back there as well. A sort of bull bar. We're definitely turning into a sort of Ford Ranger truck. <laughs> uh, another exotic engram there. Ooh, we've got nurturing nature. Let's have a look. Come along. Sprinkle your dust. See, this is to do with the tree that we're seeing where we got our uh, artifact from. It's all going back to nature. This is, I think it's all going to be very Gaia and planet Earth. And I'm talking about the light and the darkness and the traveler touching the Earth and, and trees sprouting from where it touched and stuff. Anyway, I might be talking complete cobblers, but you never know. Light, dark, life. It's all entwined, don't you know? Oh, yes. And here we go. Nice bit of destruction. Well, let's put a suit at our destruction. White collar crime. It is the ornament weapon for the Wither Horde. And that's very sexy. It looks like marble. And I love that little Gambit logo stuck into the uh, ha handle. <laughs> the grip. <laughs> there. Yes. Looks very nice indeed. I'm going to enjoy wielding that. I feel like I'm in a museum. So loads of stuff on the season pass yet again for this season. Enjoy the grind. And if you did enjoy the video, drop me a subscribe. That would be really wonderful and would help me get myself up to 2,000 subscribers. Nearly oh, about 500 to go now. That's bloody marvellous. Anyway, see you very soon, Guardians. Loads more time sausages, cobblers to come.